guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have a foundation review and test for you. I'll be testing out the new Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Liquid Foundation. I've been testing out a bunch of different colors to find my perfect match and getting familiar with their color selection and their formula. But today will be the first day that I'll be wearing it all day and really giving it a good test. So I wanted to bring you guys along the journey and share my review. So, a few things that I want to say about this foundation. It has broad spectrum SPF 20. It has titanium dioxide, 3.32%, uh, which is great. It has sunscreen. Lately, I've been really into sunscreen, kind of religious about it because I've gotten a lot of these um, dark spots and hyperpigmentation from having my daughter. So I'm super aware of sun damage nowadays and very, very, very on it with my sunscreen. So I love that it has sunscreen. I went on their website and read everything about this foundation and I want to share with you guys some of those things because I think it's very important. And this foundation claims a lot of things, which I think is very interesting. And that is one of the main reasons why I wanted to try it out and test it for you guys. So. This foundation is 24 hour wear, which it's a little crazy who wants to wear their foundation all day long even when they're sleeping, but that's the claim that they wanna make. They're saying that the foundation is so good for your skin that you can actually sleep in it because it's so pure. I made a few notes while I was on their site, so that's what I'm reading. Um, it is sweat resistant, transfer resistant, free of oils, parabens, fragrance, hypoallergenic, non-acnogenic. I think that just means it doesn't cause acne breakouts and it doesn't clog pores. It has a natural matte finish and there is 30 shades total. So it has a ton of shades. Hopefully we can all find a color that works for us if you're interested in checking this out. The foundation is infused with bamboo extract which they say blurs out pores and it also includes papaya enzyme which improves the skin texture. All right, so that is a lot of claims if it stands to the test and can do all of that. This foundation might be one of the best foundations and easily become one of my holy grails, so we will see. So like I said, they have 30 shades and within the 30 shades, they have six subcategories of fair to light, light to medium, medium to tan, tan to dark, dark to deep, and deep. I am normally with most foundations with different brands, I'm mainly medium, light medium. But for this particular foundation, I was in the category tan to dark. So it seems like they made quite a lot of fair and lighter complexion foundations. So that I think that's why I kind of got bumped into the medium to tan since they have dark to deep and deep after that. Um, and then they have different skin tones, which is awesome. They have neutral tone, warm tone, cool to neutral, and neutral to warm. I think those were the only four tones that they had as well. When you're matching your complexion to a foundation, it's really important to not only look at the color, the shade, but also the undertone. In most brands and foundations, I normally fall under the category of olive, yellow, warm undertone. However, I found that these foundations were quite yellow. When I picked up some of the warm shades, they were very, 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 very yellow. I consider myself being quite yellow, um, my complexion, my undertone. Not sure if there's gonna be much people that are gonna be able to get use out of those colors, but who knows? Um, I can't decide that for everyone. So if you have quite yellow undertone, these foundations might be great for you to try out. Also, they do claim that these foundations do not give an ashy, grayish undertone for darker skin tones. So I think that's why they added a lot of that warm tone into these foundations. The undertone that worked best for me was a neutral to warm undertone. The color that works best for me is number 21, Sable. However, this is just a little too dark. So I'm gonna be mixing it with their Toffee number 19, just to lighten it a little bit. Sable 21 is a neutral to warm undertone, and then 
Toffee 19 is a warm undertone. It is a little too yellow. However, if I just mix a little bit of this together, I think I'll have the perfect shade. I do find myself mixing a lot of foundations to get that perfect color. Therefore, if you feel like you can't find a shade that is perfectly yours, that matches your complexion. Try picking up a couple shades. I know you're spending a little extra, but it'll last longer. And you can mix them, and throughout the year, everyone's skin color changes depending on the season and how much you're in the sun, so it might be great to have a couple shades available on hand. All right, so let's go ahead and apply this. I've already prepped and moisturized my skin. I've also primed it with the Morphe Prep and Set Makeup Setting Spray. This is currently out of stock, but hopefully they will restock this. I've been really liking this spray. So I'm just gonna do a pump of each. When I pump it out, it's very liquidy. You can see it running down, but it's not super watery either. All right, I'm just gonna mix that on my hand. And then to apply this, I'll be using the brush that it came out with. This is the Lux Performance Brush. Oh, and I will mention these foundations are $34 each. It's not super affordable, but it's not crazy expensive either. It's pretty fair in price. And then the brush is $30, I believe. I've been really liking this brush. I've been using it with um, a lot of my different foundations too and just really like how it applies. On the website, they did say they created this brush to mimic finger application. So I'm just going to get some on my brush and then apply it downwards. Yeah, that mix, the foundation mix is a perfect color for me. I don't see anything that's alarming at the moment. And I'll be bringing that down to my neck. Full coverage, but you can still see my skin which I'm really into that lately, so I like that. All right, what do you guys think? My pores don't look enlarged or anything. My texture, the texture of my skin looks great, so the claims about that I think may be true. Let's continue with the rest of my foundation routine. I'm gonna be using all the products that I normally use to conceal and powder and all of that. I think it's only fair that I test it out how I would normally wear it. The concealer I'll be using is the one I always use, the NARS Creamy Concealer. Today I'll be mixing custard and ginger. I've been finding that custard is a little too light for me sometimes. So I'll be mixing the two together. With a beauty blender, I will just blend that in. And next, I'm going to set all that with the Laura Mercier Translucent Powder. Alright, and let's just bronze the skin. For this, I'll be using the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. A little bit of that down my nose. And then let's apply a little bit of blush. This is the Milani Luminoso. All right, and that completes my face makeup. I will do my eyebrows and my eyes off camera and I will let you guys know how this wears throughout the day. I like the way it looks in camera. In real life, to me, Lately, I've been using a little bit lighter foundations, which if you like full coverage, this is gonna be perfect. My skin is pretty matte, I will say, and I think that's also throwing me off, so the foundation is definitely matte. I'm gonna spray this setting spray over top and see if that makes a difference. Now that it's not super matte, I actually really like this. All right, so right now it's 11.56, just before noon. This is when I'm applying it. I have a long day ahead of me, so let's put this to the test. I'll see you guys in a little bit. 
Now it's currently 1.29 p.m. I just ran a couple errands and came back. I really like the way the makeup looks as of right now. It's still pretty fresh, so it's hard to tell how well it's gonna hold throughout the day. But I wanted to hop on here and tell you guys one thing I noticed is my face feels kind of tacky and I think it's because of the transfer proof property. The foundation dries into this gel-like matte texture, which is really interesting. I was touching my skin and like it wasn't really coming off on my hands or anything like that which is pretty cool. I will not be doing any touch-ups or anything like that. I wanna make sure that you guys can see exactly how this wears. And typically, I'm not one to touch up my makeup anyways. So, we will see. See you guys in a little bit. It is currently 5, 10 p.m. It's been a little over five hours since I first applied the foundation. It still looks pretty good. It's a little hot here today in Santa Barbara, California. So I've become a little bit more glowy than I was matte earlier. And <laughs> my daughter was just climbing all over me and she like, I swear I thought she took off all my makeup. She like wiped her entire hand across my cheek. And it really didn't budge, you guys. It's kind of insane. Say hi. Say hi. I messed up mommy's makeup, but mommy's makeup still stayed. We are about to go to the park, but I just wanted to update you on how the foundation's looking. For the most part, it's looking pretty good. I'm very impressed. And still, when I pat my face, it really doesn't transfer off, which is pretty amazing. Yeah, what do you guys think? Pretty good. I've since prepared lunch and dinner and had food and just been running errands all day, so kind of a busy day, but it's still holding up pretty well. So I will check back in with you guys at the end of the day before I take it off and let you know how that goes, but we are going to go to the park now. <laughs> See you guys. So it's the end of the night. It's currently 9.56 p.m. I had a long day. I have to say, overall, this foundation looks great. Definitely, you can tell that around my nose, I like to rub my nose a lot, so much of the foundation around my nose have disappeared, but you really can't tell a huge difference from where it was wiped off and where the foundation still sits here on my nose. I find that with other foundations, you can tell where it stops and ends. So I've had this foundation on for a total of 10 hours now and it still looks pretty good. I'm impressed. I love that this foundation has SPF in it and everyone should be into that all the time. Overall, I think this foundation really does do what it claims. Um, only thing is, by the end of the day, my pores look a little bit larger than it did when I first applied it. So to end the video, I think if you can find the right shade with the correct undertone in this foundation, I think it's affordable enough and it has great coverage, it has a beautiful finish, lasts really well, it has SPF. Overall, I really like it. I saw this foundation being sold at Ulta and at Sephora, so it's very easily accessible. You can definitely go to those type of stores and get color matched, which is great. I hope you guys get a chance to try it out as well. If you do, please let me know what you think. I'm very interested to know if you guys like it too. I really hope you enjoyed this video, this kind of video. This was really fun to make. And yeah, I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.